the Church of Pentecost Ghana has expressed support for the criminalization of LGBTQI plus acts and assists the acceptance of LGBTQI plus is an attack on the moral standards of the Ghanaian people. The church led groups of other Christian denominations and organizations to parliament to present a memorandum in support of the proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian family values bill. Leaders and other representatives of churches across the country stormed parliament and presented several memos. The chairman of the Pentecost Church Ghana, Apostle Eric Nyamiche, noted the church supports the bill in its current form, which includes criminalization of LGBTQI plus acts. The Church of Pentecost is over 3.1 million, uh, about 10.38% of the Ghanaian population. And we have brought in 15,000 signatories. I believe that this is significant enough. This bill, we support it 100%. We should make their operations criminalized. Then, if you don't criminalize it, then you have allowed it in the system. And so if you are saying that if you see somebody who, who is practicing this report, it doesn't mean that when I see you and I don't like you, I should go and report that you are a homosexual. You must go there with proof. He said the church continues to receive petitions and signatories in support of the bill and is offering help to those confused about their sexual orientation. We are not, we don't hate LGBTQ people, not at all. And we are not saying that they are not human, but we hate their deeds because it is evil. We are also in to help Whoever needs help, if you think that your sexual orientation, we feel that we, we can be helped, we can be helped. Meanwhile, one of the MPs who sponsored the anti-LGBTQI plus bill, Sam George Nete, is overwhelmed about the level of support. Ghanaians are largely in support of the bill, but this is part of the parliamentary process. And for us, we are welcome to any memos, either in support or against like the deputy clerk stated today, we will go through the processes of evaluation and there will be a full stakeholder meeting where everybody who has every shade of opinion is welcome to bring it for us to shape the final bill. Minority leader in parliament, Harun Idrisu, noted promoting LGBTQI plus in Ghana will be a difficult sell. What we do know is that any effort and attempt to liberalize in the name of fundamental human rights and freedoms on the sanctity, morality and respect of our time-tested values, traditional religious cultural values, which finds that expression an abhorrence. You should have no difficulty in accepting that promoting LGBTQ it's a difficult sell in Ghana. The deadline for submission of memos against or in support of the anti-LGBTQI plus bill is Thursday, October 7. We pray that the message that has been brought here today will Lord sink through this house, this honorable house of parliament, and to sink through the nation.